Now, what's interesting is that what I said, this could work as a split function too, right? So let's say we want to split everything at this add character, right? And we want to have one column that gives us the beginning before this add sign, and then what's after the add sign. And the way I can accomplish that is by, well, our pattern is it's going to be some characters and then an add sign and then some more characters after that. So again, uh, every character before that, it's going to be dot plus. So we want any character and one or more of those characters. And then we're going to have an add sign and then we're going to have again any character, one more of that character. Now, if I hit enter, I'm going to get the same results because it's still matching it and we're still saying that the part we want to extract is what's in parentheses. Now, if we also want to extract the beginning part, I have to include parentheses and group that one as well. So now we're saying this is the first group we want to extract and this is the second group we want to extract. And overall, this is the pattern we're trying to match. So if I hit enter, you'll see how we have now split that into two columns and we have this beginning part the add sign is the one we use for splitting and we have the second part right after that which is kind of an interesting way to use split which you could do with split function basically this tends to be the character we're splitting by and we can use any pattern as the split instead of just using the add sign when you do parentheses that means you group things and that's what you're trying to extract you are trying to match the pattern overall, but what you're extracting out of the whole thing is just what's in that parentheses. So what I'm going to try to extract is the extension. The extension is always going to happen after the add sign at some point, right? Then we're going to have some domain names here, and then we're going to have the extension, which could be either dot something or it could be dot something and that dot something again after that. So how can we match that? So first of all, we want to start with an add sign, we said, right? And then after the add sign, what characters do we have? We are going to have the actual name of the domain, whatever it's gonna be like something.com or something. Uh, so first of all, we have to understand what characters are possible to be in the domain in general, because not only we want to cover this cases, we want to cover any other cases so the characters that are possible in the domain is basically, as far as I know, you can have letters and you can also have hyphens, if I'm not mistaken, as a domain name. I don't think you can have an underscore in your domain name. I'm not sure about that. So basically what we're looking for is lowercase letters, uppercase letters, and then a hyphen. So how can we do that? Because for example, that W character that we do, which is the word character, it's doing the lowercase uppercase letters but first of all it does not include the hyphen in it it, in it includes the underscore though it also includes numbers uh, that's not going to work because we want the hyphen in it so what we can do is use this uh, new way in regular expression which which is this square brackets so the square brackets indicates that we're trying to give different possible characters within this square brackets that are acceptable. So if I do like A and B and C and one, two, three, we're basically saying that it can be any one of these characters here, right after the at sign. So if I hit enter, you'll see that, see this one is A right after the at sign. So we've extracted that. Now, let's see if there are any other ones other than A. So this one, see, it's the C right after the at, so it's a match and this is an A and C. So there are no B's apparently right after the at sign. And we said A, B, C's are one, two, three. So there are no, nothing that starts with one, two, three or the B character in this particular case. Now, if we want to say it can be one or more, uh, one or more of the following characters, we do the plus sign after that, as we do before, right? And now you can see how we got the A Right, and the next one is not really B or is not the C, is not one, two, three, is not any one of those. So obviously it's not going to extract that. So let's see if there is anything that gives us like two letters. So there it is C, A, C, C, because C was one of those characters that was matching. 
So we've extracted that part. Now we could just go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right, and so on. But that's going to be crazy. We're going to have to type the whole alphabet in here. So a faster way to do that, you can actually do character sets like this, A to Z. So now I'm saying it can be A to Z, any characters of those, and any number of those characters. And if I hit enter, well, hyphen uh, is not included, so it's not going to be there. So tell us, see, that's good. Now, an interesting thing here, as you can look here, it's not matching this one because this is actually case sensitive. And we're looking at lowercase a to z, and this is the uppercase m. So we want to include uppercases as well. So how do we do that? Well, we do uppercase a to z. So now we're including uppercases as well. Now the next thing we want to include is a hyphen as a possible character. So right after that, we also add a hyphen as a possible character. So now we have a to z lowercase, a to z uppercase, and a hyphen. And now the domain names could also, although I can't see any over here, but they could also have numbers in them, right? So let's include those two as a possibility. So again, I'll do it here to make it clean. Zero to nine, those are the numbers, and then a hyphen. So we did a to z, lowercase a to z, uppercase, zero to nine, all the numbers, and hyphen, character. So those are the possible variations. That's going to get us the domain name without the extension. Now after the domain name, what are we going to have? We're going to have a dot for our extension, right? So to do a dot, I can't do a dot because dot means any character. So I'm going to do this escape character dot. And then we're going to have this extension of the domain that we're going to have. So the extension of the domain is usually something that's text. So it's never numbers, as far as I know, although we now have a lot of new extensions, so who knows, maybe something will come up. Uh, we could include uppercase in there because who knows, maybe somebody typed their emails with an uppercase .edu. So again, I'm going to define those characters. A to Z. And I could have used the W slash w for a, a often numeric but again i don't want to include numbers and also i don't want to include underscores so that's why i'm doing it this way so a to z so we're saying any uppercase or lowercase that would be just one but we want one or more because it would be dot edu dot ca so so far we've got to the point that we've included the domain name and dot edu part out of that right and in some cases, it could also be that it's so dot edu dot co. But this case, it doesn't include both of them. I want to extract the extension. So the extension starts here. So it's going to be, I, I wanted this part as a matching part of the pattern, but I don't really want to include that. I want to only extract the actual extension which starts with this dot and what's following it so I'm going to put it in our parentheses and that's our dot edu so so far we're able to get the first part of the domain so uh, now what I'm going to do is do the second part so I'm going to do another dot which in our extension right so it's going to be uh, another escape character oops I have to put this back here so another escape character and a dot, and we could have again our a to z lowercase or a to z uppercase characters and one or more of those. So that's gonna match. Oh, we have this. We forgot the plus sign because it should be one, one or more of those. So now we're getting this extension, which is which has two in them. But we're not getting this extension, which does not have both of them. So what we should do, we should try to do this or the other one. So, so far, this is our regular, both of them. So what I'm going to do now, I want to say either this or the other one. So I'm going to put parentheses around this group. And the or sign in regular expression is this pipe. So I'm going to do the pipe, right? And then... It's either going to be those two together, right? Or it's going to be just a single .edu part. So that, that part, again, has to be its own group. 
so it's separate. So we do dot, and then again our set of characters, a to z lowercase, and a to z uppercase. In here and we want one or more of those characters so plus right here so there we have it we've extracted our domain extension as a result of this regular expression now what's interesting here the set of parentheses if you remember I said that's the set we want to capture right so right now one set of parentheses is this whole thing which is this this is what we're looking for but it also has this set of parentheses that's capturing this and this second set of parentheses in here that's capturing this now I didn't really want to capture this and this I just wanted this whole thing so what you can do you can make the group as non capturing group so right now when you do parentheses you're saying I want to capture this now I want to make sure that this is grouping but I'm doing this for the sake of grouping I don't want to capture it so the way you do that is by starting right after the parentheses you do question mark and semicolon or is that colon so question mark and colon that means don't capture this so if I hit enter right now you'll see that one of those columns is gone so the same thing I don't want the second one to be captured so we'll do this make it optional and there we have it now that made our regular expression that basically we're searching for something that starts with an add sign and then some a to z characters and numbers with a hyphen in them and then after that we're gonna have these two possible extension types one with dot you know extension or the, the other one with two dots in the extension 